You may have seen a Facebook post making the rounds about car thieves breaking into cars by cloning your key fob. The crooks are using a device to unlock cars without setting off the alarm. Jamie Tucker breaks down how it works and what you can do to protect yourself. It's called a relay attack, and here's how it works. They get one bad guy next to the car. Another crook is following you, getting close enough to you, or maybe ins even inside a store. Then the bad guy next to you has the device that clones your key fob and sends a signal back to the crook that's standing next to your car. And then he unlocks it. Your key fob emits an RFID signal which unlocks the car. By cloning it, the device makes the car's anti-theft system thinks your key fob is next to it. No broken glass, no alarm, just like you do when you return, the thief simply unlocks the car, steals whatever he wants, or even steals the vehicle. Now here's the tricky part. If you lock some cars by using the inside door lock, it prevents the fob from sending a signal. That didn't work on my vehicle. Other cars might turn off the key fob if you lock the door with a key. Now you should try on your own vehicle to see if it works. And if that doesn't work, you can keep your key in something called a Faraday pouch or purse. I couldn't find one in my local Walmart store, but they are available at most online retailers. These pouches block the RFID signal. You'll just have to take it out to unlock and lock your vehicle. And if you're concerned about this, you could also disable the key fob by removing the battery. These RFID cloning devices are not available in just any electronic store, but bad guys buy them online in black and gray markets. So be aware of what's going on around you. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.